Hi, this is Victor Gil from Cisco Tag Team. In this video, I show you how to configure Advan campaigns for agent-based progressive on Unified Contact Center Express UCCX. Prerequisites. In this video, I use the following devices already installed, configured, and integrated. CUCM version 12.5, UCCX version 12.5, Jabber for Windows acting as an agent, ISR4331 acting as a cube, SIP provider. Call flow. You can see the interaction on this call flow between UCCX with CUCM, Finesse, and Cube. But first, I begin with some introductory concepts. There are five types of advanced campaigns on UCCX. First, agent-based, progressive, predictive, direct preview. Second, IBR-based, progressive, predictive. Start with the configuration for the Advan campaign for agent-based progressive. First, you need to log in into the CCX administration. Then, click on Subsystem menu, then select the CM telephony, and finally, click on Call Control Group. Click on Add New. Fill out the mandatory fields marked with asterisk, such as description, number of CTI ports you need to use. On group type, select outbound, device name prefix, and the available directory number, and click add. Then click on subsystem menu, then select RLCM, and then click on contact service queue to create the progressive CSQ. Fill out the mandatory fields such as contact service queue name, and then select the most appropriate options for your specific environment. Then click next. Select the required skills and add them as shown. Finally, click add. Now you need to configure the advanced section. So click on subsystem menu again, then select advanced and click general. Here you need to add the progressive CSQ created in the previous step. Click subsystem menu, then select advanced and click on campaigns to create the agent based progressive campaign. Click on add new and then select the agent based campaign then select the dialog type of progressive. Then a new window appears in which you need to fill out the mandatory values, like campaign name, click on enable to yes, define the start and end time, campaign calling number, and other desired values according to your specific needs. Finally, add the proper progressive CSQ on assigned CSQ and click add. Now, click on Subsystem menu, then select Outbound, click on SIP Gateway Configuration, and type the specific IP address of the cube that handles the Outbound calls. On the Cisco Voice Router, you need to configure these settings to enable basic cube functionality with CPA, Voice Service VoIP, Mode Border Element, Allow Connection SIP to SIP. Additionally, under Voice Service VoIP, you can configure these parameters according to your needs. CPA timing live person, CPA timing term tone, CPI threshold active signal. Then, you need to configure these settings to enable DSP farm on Voice Card. Voice Card, DSP services, DSP farm. DSP farm allows you to use call progress analysis, CPA to discover if the call is live, voice, or not. Then, you need to receive the call on an incoming dial peer with a basic configuration. Define the IP address of the UCCX here, and the incoming call number to spec to the dial. Now, you need to configure the advanced dial peer to the SIP provider on this dial peer. Here, type the IP address of the SIP provider. Finally, you need to have an advanced dial peer that hits all agents once the call is answered 
and confirm that it is a human voice with CPA. This dial peer has the extension or range of the agents that will handle advanced calls and the IP address of the CUCM. The above configuration can vary depending on your dial plan design. I hope this video is informative and thank you for viewing.